And we have Robert Kelly, professor from Busan University, joining us via Skype to try and review and dissect some of the issues touched on during yesterday's marathon session, an hour and a half long speech and press conference by President Bakane. Professor, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, President Bak expressed confidence in Korea's alliance with the U.S. when it comes to dealing with North Korea. Uh, can this partnership bring out some positive coordination in the same direction from China as well? I'm not so sure. The Chinese are in a difficult position. They don't want North Korea to collapse, but they do want North Korea to denuclearize. This is difficult. This has been President Park's sort of thorn, and it's been a thorn in her side for a while. I think she's done a heroic job, quite honestly, to um, try to pull the Chinese over, and now it's time to call on those chits. She's really worked hard with Xi Jinping. She's visited him six times in three years, so I'm really hoping that maybe she can sort of get him to lean on North Korea. This is sort of where the rubber meets the road. This is where China has to earn the better relationship with South Korea that it has. If she does, or if he doesn't, if Xi Jinping doesn't come through, I would imagine the South Koreans will stop grooming China the way they have the last few years. Okay, Professor, the question at the tip of many reporters' tongue during the Q&A session was obviously the landmark agreement with Japan on wartime sexual enslavement issue. Sure. Uh, it was explained in detail by Pro President Bakane that this was the best possible outcome in the shortest span of time because time is of the essence. The ladies, they are in their twilight years. How do you, review, how do you view this deal? Well, I do think, I mean, the, the sort of the criticism from the left and many in South Korea who dislike the deal is that this was sort of, that South Korea was kind of pushed into this by the Americans and there was a lot of external pressure on South Korea to wrap this issue up because of the North Korean nuclear program and the rise of China. I do think that's true. I think there is a lot of geopolitical pressure on South Korea and Japan to work together. Um, I have to admit, I am surprised, actually, that South Korea to agreed to a deal that, in my opinion, is somewhat lenient on the Japanese position. Um, that said, I do think it's a good idea that this eventually be wrapped up. I mean, I do actually think that at some point Japan and Korea need to move on. I mean, whether or not this is enough to satisfy the comfort women, I think that's sort of a moral issue beyond sort of my own personal space. But I do, I am surprised that South Korea went for this, and I'm not surprised that the comfort women are on the street. I think the big, uh, to protesting it, I think the big issue for the future then is whether or not the left will use this as a political issue in the parliamentary elections in April. If this becomes politicized, if this becomes a partisan issue between right and left, it will not disappear as the deal says it should. Speaking of which, segmenting it into uh, two different categories as you did, uh, the statue, it's been, uh, it's been a, a, a source of constant debate and uh, constant argument between the two sides as well. Yeah, the statue is a tough one. I mean, the Japanese claim on the statue is that it violates the Vienna Convention regarding diplomacy, which says that dip, the, uh, embassies should not be unnecessarily harassed. Whether or not this counts for that is difficult to say. The Koreans and Japanese have gone around on this for a while. If the deal sticks, that is to say, if the national NGOs, the civil society groups, and the comfort women eventually desist and they go along with the deal, eventually I think there will be pressure to move the statue. Certainly we know the Japanese want that. There may be a park or something like that set up for the comfort women, some kind of memorial, and the statue could be put there. But I don't think the statue can be moved for a while. I think first the park government has to get out there and convince, particularly the left and the nationalist NGOs, that this is a good deal. And they haven't done that. The, do the deal has not yet been sold to the South Korean public, and I think that's its weak spot. Okay, Professor, moving on to our third question. The continued jam in terms of passing bills and moving on uh, at the top office. Uh, we seem to keep hearing the same thing from opposite sides of the aisle with the president urging quick passage and, of course, the main opposition constantly against him. Do you have any advice on eliminating the factors causing the constant friction and moving on? Sure, I'm not so sure about advice, but I certainly do have some interpretation. I think the biggest trouble is that the left in South Korea is now very badly fragmented. And it's, I mean, we know this, right? The parties are splitting. And it's very difficult for the left to actually come up with a coherent position to work with um, on the government regarding some of these issues. I do think the left has some legitimate concerns on this, right? Labor reform particularly is a big deal that will affect a lot of people, will particularly affect the trade unions, which are an important source of stability, which are an important source of sort of voting and support for the left. Um, the counterterrorism thing is also sort of difficult, right? Korea does not actually, I would argue, Korea does not actually have a substantial internal terrorism problem. And you could argue that North Korea constitutes terrorism, but that's kind of a dicey discussion. Um, I think the, the left wants to be a little bit careful before they run off and start setting up something like what the NSA did in the United States, collecting phone calls. I think that caution is wise, to be honest. Okay, Professor. Professor Robert E. Kelly from uh, Department of Political Science and Diplomacy, Pusan National University. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me.